Hey there, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use data attributes in your Webflow project to add another layer of protection for your custom code. Now, there's nothing wrong with using classes or IDs, but it's real easy for a class name to inadvertently change after we hand off the project to a client. Since many people are not aware of data attributes, this affords us another way of safeguarding the website. Custom attributes can have any name, but I'm going to use the prefix data dash. With the prefix data dash, we can pass in additional information to the elements that will not be accessed by search engine crawlers or assisted technology. As such, we can utilize this in our custom code to give an extra layer of protection to ensure the code doesn't break if for some reason a class name or ID were to change. To give you a basic example of this, I have these four white cards, each with the class name of white card. I'm going to go into the element settings and give each of these cards three attributes. The first one is what I'm going to use to select it in the custom code. So I'm going to give it a name of data dash type and give it a value of card. The second one is the attribute I'm going to use for my color that I want the background to turn into on hover. So I'm going to give it a name of data dash hover dash bg dash color and give it a value of pound 0c 2954 and finally I'm going to add one more data attribute that I will use in the jQuery code to revert back to the initial state. So I'm going to go give it a name of data dash bg dash color and give it a value of white so pound and 6f and to save time i'll delete these three cards and duplicate the first one so now that i have the four cards let's check out the jquery code that we're going to use for this interaction so I go to my page settings, scroll down to the before body tag, and you'll see that on mouse enter of data type card, we're going to run a function that's going to say find beta hover BG color, which is what we're using as the hover color, and change the background color to that color. And then on mouse leave, find the data BG color, what we use as our initial color, and change the background color to that color. So I'm going to save this and to embellish the interaction so you can see it on video, I'm going to add a transition effect and I'm going to really embellish it to a thousand milliseconds so you can see it on the video. So I'll save and publish. So now if we check out our published site, you'll see that the cards change on mouse enter and mouse out. Another benefit of using data attributes is the flexibility to give each card a different value for the hover color. In this example, I've gone ahead and left the first card as is, but I've given the three remaining cards a different data hover BG color. And if we check out the published site, you'll see that each card now has a different color on hover. We can also use data attributes with CMS and child elements. In the following example, I have four cards that is getting data from the CMS. I have a card itself that has a class of attribute dash CMS underscore city card. And I have given that a custom data attribute of data dash city dash card that I'm going to use as a way of selecting that element. And you'll notice I don't have a value for this one. That's because you don't need to have a value on all of your data attributes as long as you have the name. As long as you have the name, you're fine. So you can have attributes with no value as long as it has a name. And inside this card, I have a child element called attribute dash CMS underscore city image that I'm using as an image wrapper 
which inside of that is my image, which is set to 100% full cover. Now in this image wrapper of attribute dash CMS underscore city image, I have two data attributes set up. One, the data dash city dash image. That'll be my way of selecting the element on the custom code. And a second one for data dash grayscale that I can use to style the image and then use that in the code as well. So now that I've added the data dash grayscale, I can go ahead and drop in an embed element and use some custom CSS to give data dash grayscale 100% grayscale filter. And if I save and close, you'll notice that the images are now grayscale. If we check out our page settings, go down to the before body tag, you'll notice we have a similar function that says on mouse enter of data city card, find data city image and remove the data grayscale attribute. And then on mouse leave, find data city image and add data grayscale back in. And you'll notice we have two quote marks here with nothing in between. That's where the value would have gone if we had a value for that attribute. So I'm going to save this and publish once again. And if I refresh and if we check out the live site, you'll see that the cards turn into the color when I hover over them. And that's how you could use data attributes in your custom code on Webflow. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.